welcome inside Tal Anderson Field for game three between the four and two Creighton Blue Jays and the three and five Omaha Mavericks. Yeah, Porter loves to recruit out of there. And with that being said, Richie Holitz does strike out Clifford middle of the second. And that's something, pitching is huge, that definitely. And speaking of pitching, it's another strikeout for Holitz. And we are at the middle of the third inning. As Braden and he's gonna rip that one right. As I said, he's having a decent weekend. It is a ground rule, no, it's not a ground rule double. It did stay in. They've played them four times. That was their fourth time playing them. And yep. here's Dank. He rips one into center. Insurance. It's 4 1 Omaha as Dank finds the gap on both Friday and Saturday as Webble hits that one into center. Sun, is it going to be a factor? No. Play is made middle of five. Dank makes the catch cleanly. For another year. And there it is, Eckhout again. This could be his second double of the day as he rips one down the left field line for the Jays. Swing and a miss, gets him. He was down 3-1, retires the pinch hitter. Three in the bottom of the seventh. Bonar rips one, two, right center. That's gonna get in the gap and it will fall. One Maverick comes in, he's in safely, and it's second and third. And outside strike, call three. Big time K to Andrew Beggs and Moore. Battles back some Sunday afternoon baseball. And strikes out the side. Jacob Muller, and it's a middle of the eighth. Here we come. Last time they had beat Creighton was a year ago to the day, and did they call strike three? They did, and Gilbert was running down the line, but not quite. Wisconsin, and that's going to be a chopper to short. Flips it over, Mavericks win. 5-2, Omaha improves to four and five on the year. Creighton drops to four and three. They take the series finale.